you all know that Tesla is testing its full self-driving FSD beta um, in the United States. But do you know now that the snow has come in many parts of the United States, uh, do you know how Tesla FSD beta handles snowy conditions and on snowy roads? Today we're going to show you that and we're going to talk about that. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armen Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla and electric vehicle news analysis. Drive Tesla Canada has a very interesting story sharing a video from a popular beta tester A, dr a, a driver um, showing Tesla model um, uh, uh, in uh, Tesla full self-driving FSD in snowy conditions saying there are just a few days left in 2020 and the windows for December release of the Tesla's full self-driving FSD beta software in Canada is getting smaller and smaller. As you know, Elon Musk had promised that Tesla will FSD will be also beta um, released in Canada. So we have only a few days left. I don't know if they, uh, if Tesla keeps that work or Elon Musk keeps that work. Anyway, that is getting smaller and smaller, that window. In the meantime, eager Tesla owners across the country are waiting to test the beta software in the worst winter conditions Canada can throw their way. While we wait, one of the US beta testers decided to see how it handles snow and ice covered roads. Popular beta tester AI driver took his Model S running FSD beta 8 2020.48.12.15 update to Lake Tahoe recently after a heavy snowfall. Since he does live in California, his car was equipped with all season tires, so the result could have been different had it been properly equipped with winter tires. So let's take a look at that. Let's let's take a look at some segment and experts, uh, excerpts from uh, this testing of Tesla um, uh, FSD in winter conditions.
So as you see, the first test uh, is to see if the self-driving software can find its way out of a snow-covered parking lot where no lines are visible. While the typical driver would take it slowly in these conditions, the self-driving software uh, quickly accelerates and pulls the steering wheel quickly to the left and right. This results in the car sliding in the snow before the software disengages. Several more attempts and it is again clear that Tesla is not aware of the snow and is still driving as if it is in a warm California day. This is important for Tesla engineers to think if Tesla uh, full self driving cannot see the lines on the streets, um, will it stop? Uh, well, right now it can start actually disengage and the driver will take over. But what if you are in a robot taxi and in your city there is snow? I, I don't know how Tesla engineers and software uh, people are going to handle this situation. Do you guys have any idea about this? AI driver then takes his Model S in the video to the streets and the results are similar. Even though the car does a decent job of recognizing driving space, even with the snow-covered roads, it still drives too fast for the conditions. This is kind of risky. This results in the owner having to take control several times. In watching the video and the different scenarios, it is clear the software does not recognize it is driving in conditions that require it to alter its driving behavior. Now, I think this is one of the reasons why Tesla is uh, kind of dragging its feet or not releasing the uh, the full self-driving beta in Canada, knowing that uh, the, the, probably they have tested and the tests are showing that in snow conditions, the car, the car will not do well. Uh, well, here, here are two thoughts on this. First, um, maybe Tesla will delay uh, and the uh, Canada uh, full self-driving uh, release, the beta release in Canada until spring when the snowy conditions are gone. But on the other hand, I'm thinking Tesla may need the feedback and Tesla may start using this option of snow in Canada and release the full self-driving FSD beta in very limited um, quantities and uh, to extremely careful drivers, uh, Tesla drivers in Canada. I don't know how they're going to do that. I can continue. I'm sure they have a way of knowing who has fewer tickets and so on and maybe depending on how, how they measure that and uh, release it to small group of people, the FSD maybe 10, 50, 20, I don't know, uh, and uh, get some data because uh, yeah, they can use that data to improve. Um, or I think maybe Tesla can just create uh, artificial snowy conditions in their testing areas and uh, see how the car can uh, get the lines and to realize that there is a snow or there is ice. Um, if you guys have any idea about this, please let me know. It will be interesting to hear from you. In the meantime, we have seen Tesla FSD improving uh, weekly, if not several times a week. Uh, it gets feedback from people who test drive the FSD and um, Tesla keeps releasing new updates. And uh, we have seen people who have been going uh, in the first days of FSD beta driving to a, uh, through a particular street and uh, they have to take they had to take over the fsd disengage it but now after several updates tesla has learned that the ai has learned how to handle those situations and now they can um, uh, go through the same place and the tesla handles we have seen tesla going through a uh, passing a garbage truck that makes uh, frequent stops and tesla acts like a human being you have seen that video at torque news youtube channel and we have seen tesla fsd performing a uh, flawless youtube YouTube, uh, actually not YouTube, U-turn and uh, giving us another sign that, that FSD improving, but how Tesla FSD is going to do in snowy conditions, I have no idea. If you guys know anything, please let me know. In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and automotive news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story or electric vehicle news analysis. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you and peace be with all of you. See you soon. Thank you.